Interesting. Here's the latest now in our series, Growing Up in Britain. The journey home from school used to be the journey away from the bullies. But the mobile phones in our children's pockets, their tablet computers and social networking websites have changed everything. Online bullying can reach them anywhere, day and night. For 12-year-old Kira, it was anonymous messages in a chat room telling her to kill herself. They were telling me to like cut myself, drown myself, drink bleach, just slit my wrists and stuff. So it was going on for about six months before it stopped. And how many messages were you getting? About two or three every day. Every day? Every day. I just wanted to like basically end it and get rid of everything because I didn't want people to carry on being horrible to me when well, my life had been so normal before it. And how were you going to do that? The way they were telling me to. Thankfully, before things went too far, Kira confided in her mum. Although hers is one of the more serious cases, she's not alone. In our survey of children around the UK, one in four said they'd been bullied online. 13% suffered eating problems as a result, and 11% have felt depressed. Children told us online bullying left them feeling isolated. Some had problems concentrating in class and didn't want to go to school. Others suffered sleep loss. They described it as a 24-7 problem. Launching Safer Internet Day this lunchtime, Olympic gymnast Beth Tweddle described her own experience being bullied online. It, it is difficult. When you first see those messages, you kind of think, well, oh, what have I done wrong? Why am I getting these comments? But I'm really lucky that I have got that family support and my mum and dad do keep an eye on my Twitter and my Facebook pages. I think a lot of kids sit at home and think, I'm the only one that this is happening to, when actually, like you're saying, one in four is feeling that way. So if we can raise that awareness that it's not wrong to speak out, they can go and speak to a teacher or a parent or even a best friend. These young ambassadors for the Anti-Bullying Alliance told me that online it's all too easy for bullies to hide from the real impact of their words. If you said it over a screen and you said it face to face, it's exactly the same thing, but just you don't know that the person's hurting. You can't see the reaction of the person you're speaking to, so I think that completely takes away any kind of connection or emotional kind of responsibility. Kira kept the abusive messages she was sent, a reminder of what she went through, a reminder of the anonymous online bullying she suffered but refused to give in to. Peter Lane, Channel 5 News.